everyone. So on our exam, we have to be able to identify certain animals and uh, certain uh, reproductive, eating, digestive habits of these animals, like crawfish, armadillo, earthworms. So Georgia and I, we decided to go out, find some of those animals, bring them to you, and have them answer those questions for you. Without further ado, please meet Squid the Earthworm. On to you, Squid. <laughs> Well, I eat dirt-filled things like decaying roots and leaves. I also eat living organisms such as nematodes, protozoans, bacteria, and even fungi in the soil. Sometimes I even have a special treat like decaying animal. Delicious. I actually don't have any teeth, but I do have really strong mouth muscles. My food goes into my mouth and to my gizzard. If you've heard of that, you've probably thought of birds like turkeys or chickens, but I have one too. I use this gizzard and it takes grains in the soil to break down food particles. When the food leaves my gizzard, it goes to my intestine and the food is dissolved there and absorbed into my blood. Then it's carried to the rest of my body, which keeps me a strong, healthy, slimy earthworm. I actually don't even have specialized respiratory organs like you do. Instead, I use my skin. I take in oxygen and I expel carbon dioxide directly through my skin. When we worms are mating, we join together with our heads pointing in opposite directions. It probably looks really interesting to, to outsiders. Sperm is passed from one worm to the other and stored in sacs. Then a cocoon forms on each of us on our clitellum. As we back out of the cocoons, eggs and sperm are deposited in the cocoon. The cocoon closes, and this is where fertilization takes place. Our cocoons are much smaller than a grain of rice and are yellow colored. Hi, I'm Sandy the oyster. I am a bivalve mollusk. I eat by using my siphons. I use my mantle to breathe in and inhale and exhale the same way humans use their lungs. Since I'm not very active, I don't need a lot of energy. Another way I gain oxygen is by diffusing it through my skin. This occurs in moist areas like where I live in the coral reefs. And how I produce is usually, I, usually oysters reach maturity in, in a year. During my first year, I spawned as a male by releasing sperm into the water. As I grew, over the next two or three years, I spawned as a female, and I released the eggs. 